A man looking for a second chance in politics now conceding the race to become a Milwaukee County Supervisor. Josh Sepnick was a former state lawmaker, once accused of drunkenly kissing two women without consent. Unofficial results show him 17 votes behind uh, in his county supervisor race. Sepnick says he trusts the election results and will not be asking for a recount. It would have cost him more than $5,000. If he were to have done a big so. part of of uh, recovering alcoholics life now is not walking around with anger or resentment. Um, and so that's why I just decide I want to move forward from this campaign. It's over with and I wish uh, the, the new person well. Zeckman says he's now been sober for the last six and a half years and his loss means a win for a self described socialist actually. Milwaukee voters elected two of them to serve on the county board. Question is, what does that mean? Jason Kelvey shows us it's not unheard of in Milwaukee history. DSA! Milwaukee's Democratic Socialists of America say they knocked on 15,000 doors. But that word like kind of scares people. They urged votes for three county board candidates, including Juan Miguel Martinez. It represents people that want change, people that don't have to work three jobs in order to make ends meet people that want uh, proper health care, people that want access to mutual aid resources, and people that want affordable housing. The teachers union also endorsed Martinez. He won his race by 17 votes, but a Journal Sentinel report cited his past Facebook post. In one he wrote, the Republican Party should be aborted. Another called a police officer a pig. When I had like uh, said that in the past, it was a response to uh, communities of color that have been uh, consistently targeted throughout, the, throughout history um, as uh, being as uh, being beaten down, uh, not having a right to due process a lot of times. Soon he'll be one of 18 county supervisors and he wants to slash the sheriff's budget. When I say that it's not about, it's less about defunding and it's more about reallocating the funds for proper resources so our communities can thrive. He's not the first socialist elected to the Milwaukee County Board. Ryan Clancy just won his second term. And the history of socialism in Milwaukee is not one of ideology, but of really practical things. It was public health, it was you know sewers, uh, it was infrastructure, and, and it was uh, investing in the community uh, in a really substantial way. Milwaukee has elected three socialist mayors between 1910 and 1960. And the Hone Bridge pays tribute to Milwaukee's second socialist, Mayor Daniel Hone, who served from 1916 to 1940. And the third has a prominent city building named after him, Frank Seidler. In Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.